Okay, here I'm going to do a couple more rational inequalities. So, number 28, we have 2x plus 3 divided by x minus 5. We want that to be greater than 0. So this one's set up kind of nicely again. We said for these uh, rational inequalities, what you want is you want one side to be equal to... Uh, we want one side to be equal to 0, so we have that on the right. And then what we do is we just set the... We want a single fraction on the left, which we have. And all we do is we take the numerator set it equal to zero, and we also take the denominator and set it equal to zero, and we solve those two equations. So for the first one, well, we could subtract three and then divide by two, we would have x equals negative three halves. And for the second one, if we just add five, we'll get x equals five. So this is where we make our number line. So there's negative three halves, there's positive five, Again, I know that neither of these values will be a solution to my original inequality because, well, negative 3 halves gives me 0. 0 is not greater than 0. And if we put 5 in, it's undefined, so that definitely doesn't work. And now we just have to take a number from each interval, just like before. So, okay, maybe x equals negative 10. We'll have 2 times negative 10 plus 3 over negative 10 minus 5. I'm thinking, is that greater than 0? Well, we're going to get a negative on the top and a negative on the bottom. A negative over a negative is going to be a positive number. So that's certainly greater than zero. So anything less than negative three halves is going to work. If we plug in x equals zero, well, if we plug in x equals zero, we'll just be left with three over negative five, which is going to give us negative three fifths. That's definitely not greater than zero. So no number between negative three halves and five will work. And say if we use positive 10, well, I think it's easy to see. We'll get, you know, 20 plus 3 on top, 10 minus 5 on the bottom. That's going to be a positive number over a positive number, which is certainly greater than 0. So our solution set for the first, for the first rational inequality will be from negative infinity to negative 3 halves, parentheses, union, parentheses, positive 5, up to infinity. So... Again, not too bad. Okay, 29 is a little bit harder because, well, we don't have a 0 on one side. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, is just uh, subtract 1 from both sides. And I'm going to write that as 1 over 1. And again, we want this to be greater than 0. I'm leaving a little space because, again, I want a single fraction on the left, so I'm going to get common denominators. So I would multiply numerator and denominator by x minus 5. So if we simplify, okay, in the numerator, we're going to have 2x minus 1x, which will just leave us with x. We'll have 3 minus negative 5, which will give us 3 plus 5, or positive 8. And again, we still have the x minus 5 in the denominator. So I'm going to go a little bit faster on this one. It's easy to see that if you put negative 8 into the numerator, you would get 0. If you plug 5 into the denominator, um, well, in this case, it would make it undefined. But in, in line with what we said a second ago, right? We take the numerator, set it equal to 0. Take the denominator, set it equal to 0. So, okay, I'm getting negative 8 and 5. Again, neither of those will work. Notice if the inequality was, say, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, the negative 8 would be a solution in that case, and we would fill it in and use brackets and include it. But again, here we have strictly greater than. So, okay, I'm focusing in on this inequality because to me that's kind of the most simplified form. So if we use, say, x equals negative 10, we would have negative 10 plus 8, negative 10 minus 5. Again, that's going to give us a negative over a negative, which is going to be a positive, which is going to work. If we use x equals 0, just like before, we'll get 8 over negative 5, which is a negative, which is not greater than 0. And say if we use x equals positive 10, we're going to get a positive over a positive, which will work. So almost the same thing as the last one. The only difference, again, is just getting these, uh, uh, just kind of rewriting it on the left side. So our solution set in this case will be from negative infinity up to negative 8, parentheses, union, from 5 to infinity. And that's it.